challenge is to protect the oceans so that we can make the most of their gifts to the world. And we need all partners on deck for sustainable development. I think oceans has come to the top of the agenda after spending far too long off the sort of off the uh, off the hot plate, as it were. And the Secretary General, everybody else has called for action on oceans. And we've been able to launch the Global Partnership on Oceans here in Rio, which is now a partnership of more than 107 countries, scientific organisations, NGO civil society organisations, and very importantly, the private sector. Liberia pledges to do all within its power to help develop and implement the GPO through even greater efforts than those already taken to sap illegal fishing. The ocean is taking up the carbon dioxide. And when you add carbon dioxide to the oceans, it forms carbonic acid. So the oceans are becoming more and more acidic. Our situation as small island developing states means uh, that we have to deal with the challenge of many of these uh, problems including overfishing, illegal fisheries, the problems of ocean pollution. These are all global problems, uh, not of our doing, and we need technical assistance, as I say, and more importantly, uh, efficient access to financing sources. It is with conviction that Monaco is supporting the Global Partnership for Oceans and has endorsed the Declaration for Healthy and Productive Oceans. New Zealand is delighted to be part of the Global Oceans Partnership, looking for new and innovative ways to link states, donors, the private sector, and civil society in the common cause. It's an honour that I present Darden's support of the GPO. We are actively supporting with $2 million the GPO this year, and we'll come back to further uh, years because we think it's important that we have the muscles in the organization to bring it onwards. Whether or not we are from continental countries or island nations, we are indeed joined by the ocean. To us, the ocean is where we live. It's our home. It is therefore important for us to see that the ocean is sustained. We don't know if there's going to be a Rio Plus 40. We hope if there is, we're still around to come to the conference. Because in 20 years from now, maybe some of our small islands won't be around. We're always inspired by the fact that nature can bring solutions to the challenges on land and on the sea. We just have to get together and do those and find those solutions. And with this partnership and growing, I'm convinced that we will. One key goal of the Global Partnership of Oceans is to take what works to scale and at speed. We must save our oceans, for they are a part of us. But only through your collective support, a partnership founded on shared respect, commitment, concern, and love for the divine creations and resources entrusted to our custody. I am confident that this partnership, together with the existing initiatives, will promote an integrated approach and will go beyond national borders and jurisdictions.